Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you this Cuisinart 12 cup coffee maker. So, I was curious of what this coffee maker looked like on the inside, so I cut it open. Um, I actually thought this coffee maker was pretty old because of how dirty where you put the water is. Um, turns out it may not have been as old as I thought. But So here we have, this is a, this is a pretty popular Cuisinart with the on-off switch and that. But here's where you put the, here's where you put the water. And then there's, this is where the coffee, the water comes out and brews the coffee right there. So let's look at the water reservoir. So I cut it open. So you can see these water reservoirs. This is what led me to believe that was pretty old was how it kind of gets covered with rust or something. I don't know. They get really dirty on the inside. So I thought, man, this thing's going to be really nasty when I cut it open. But so there's where your carbon filter, it's got that big uh, recessed area. You can put your carbon filter holder goes there. And if you look right there is where that water goes down. So your water is going to come in here when you turn it on and fill it up. It's going to come down here. You know what? Hmm. Oh no, I took that clamp off. That's right. Yeah. You say there's a water, there's a clamp. But I took that off because I was going to look at this. So the water comes. This is the heating element. So on the bottom of your coffee maker, this horseshoe is what heats the water. I was thinking there was kind of a reservoir down here or something, but there's really not. It's just got this horseshoe. So I cut this open. I was really curious to see what it looked like on the inside because I've been doing so many videos on descaling. So when we descale a coffee maker, this is what we're descaling. Um, calcium and lime build up inside this. And it will start to block it off, and your coffee won't taste as good, and it maybe won't heat it up as, as hot as it should be. So I cut this open. This one actually, you know, there is some calcium buildup on there. So this may be, you know, this thing was getting pretty old, but um, I'm not sure if it... I had descaled this one pretty good. Um, like I said, I bought it used, but I did a really good des one descaling operation on it. And so there's what it looks like the tube the heating element the heating element also heats up the warming plate so you've got your warming plate that keeps your coffee pot warm and so you've got this little thing here most Cuisinarts have this thing and that thing there it looks like it's some kind of maybe thermostat to kind of let you know so it's huh, you can pull it out some kind of thermostat probably to let you know how hot that um, warming plate is. So there you have, so then the water gets heated, it gets heated this way, and it gets shot up this pipe here. But I wanted to show you, so I took this pipe off, I wanted to show you that, you know, the inside the tubes don't get too bad. And you can see inside this tube here, there is a little bit of a calcium buildup on it. A little hard to see, but there is starting to get some calcium build up there. So you can take these back, these these uh, bottom covers off. They're really hard to come off. They've got these screws. The screws strip out. Um, you know, I tried to get my screws out. I had to cut it out. They just they're when they when they put these together, they're really not wanting you to take them apart. And I'm not sure exactly what you could replace or if you would want to replace anything, actually. But maybe if, like, a um, hose clamp came off or if your tube came off and it was leaking, you could probably fix that and put it back together. But, again, it's getting the screws out. And they're kind of hidden down these long tubes. So the water gets heated. Remember, it comes in here, gets heated, and gets shot out here. So then it goes up this pipe. There's no, there's no clamp here, but it's on there pretty good. And it goes up this tube, and then it gets it goes up this to the brew head. Now I cut the brew head off because it's kind of big, but it's got this littler brew head in there. I just wanted to show everybody. I just wanted to see what was inside there. So it comes out this one and goes on top of your coffee and brews your coffee. So most coffee makers have got this control panel or this this like control card. And it's got a relay in it, so when you turn it on, you'll hear that relay click. I'm not sure if you can replace those or, or if you would want to replace those, but that's what it looks like. So 
So again, I really thought this thing was in really bad shape, but it, you know, it probably wasn't that bad. And again, I was so curious of what the heating element was going to look like. I really had no idea. So it was, it was just kind of neat to see what it looks like. I hope this video helps. You know, if anybody's got any problems with their Cuisinart, you know, this is a really popular brand, uh, brand and style. So if you had a problem with it, uh, maybe this video will help you, uh, you know, see what it look, looks like on the inside. But my main thing is we need to keep up on descaling. And when we descale, that's what we're descaling. So again, I hope my video helps. If you could, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.